The presidential inauguration is now less than two days away, and the list of those boycotting the event in protest is growing. At last check, about a quarter of House Democrats say they're not attending, including Minnesota Representative Keith Ellison. Now a group is announcing their plans to protest the election of Donald Trump here at home. Mary McGuire joins us from Minneapolis City Hall, where members of Resist from Day One Co Coalition MN made their protest plans public. Mary, what are they planning to do on Friday? Well, they made that announcement just a short time ago, and as you can see behind me, they are still here, a small group of them. They are chanting in protest. They say that they're hosting what they are calling a mega march on Friday afternoon. The march is set to start at Lake and Nicolette and end right here at City Hall, where a rally will be held. About two dozen people from various groups showed up to the announcement today. This group claims that they want to unite in defending their communities against the, quote, racist, anti-immigrant, anti-worker, anti-Muslim, anti-woman, anti-environment, and anti-LGBTQI anti agendas of the Trump administration and beyond, end quote. We spoke with one woman who is most concerned about Trump's proposed immigration plans. There are people here who deserve protections and who also deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. Now, there are still a number of people who do plan to travel to D.C. from Minneapolis to watch the inauguration. We did reach out to the Minnesota GOP, and they tell us that at least 59 people are planning to make the trip to the inauguration. Mary, is law enforcement planning on monitoring this march and rally? Yeah, I actually did reach out to Minneapolis police, and they tell me that they are aware of the rally, and they have plans in place to facilitate it. All right, thank you, Mary.